Neither Airbus nor Boeing is unsafe, but they disagree on where safety should live, in the computer or in the human. That difference changes everything. Both manufacturers build massive redundancy. Multiple computers, multiple sensors, multiple power sources. But Airbus stacks redundancy inside automation. Computers cross-check computers. Protections back up protections. Boeing spreads redundancy across systems and people. Hardware, software, and pilot judgment. Same goal, different safety geometry. Airbus prioritizes outcome control. If inputs risk an unsafe state, the system reshapes them. The aircraft says, I understand what you want, and I'll keep us safe doing it. Boeing prioritizes authority. The system advises, warns, resists, but does not stop you. The aircraft says, here's the risk. The decision is yours. Here's the part people miss. Both are certified to the same safety standards, same regulators, same failure probabilities, same extreme assumptions. Accident statistics don't measure philosophy. They measure operations, training, environment, and human behavior. The design logic shapes how crews manage risk, not whether risk exists. So what actually manages risk better? A system that prevents you from making the wrong move or a system that lets you make it and expects you to recover. Is safety stronger when computers intervene early or when humans stay fully in charge? Which philosophy would you want when things stop going to plan?